For those who aren't familiar with us, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. Prior to entering the webinar, it's important to give you the disclaimer. Uh, any alerts or levels or trades I learned during the webinar, um, they are not a solicitation to invest, and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. Okay? Uh, it's preferable to seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, during the previous months, we have received some emails about okay, small investors or retail traders that want to, uh, to use our signals too. So uh, we decided to, to cut our price um, like one third in some, in, some, in some times. So it's important you go to, if you want, to, please go to our website, intuitiontrading.com, or you can go to the, to the website on the slide uh, to see what we do there, okay, they are automated for X trading signals, they are automated to the MT4 platform, and if you are an FX3.com user client, you have 10% discount. So I think right now is a very attractive okay, service to the, to the traders, not only for the trading signals, but to learn um, a little more how we enter or, or where we enter the market, uh, where we close our trades, where we reverse, okay, so maybe a good option. Uh, so please go there and if you have any questions, please send us an email. This is our track record. You have more details on our website or even on the fx3.com, on our microsite there. So if you have any questions, please go there, see the, the, the performance, okay? So let's move here to the platform. Um, market is trying to move, okay? We have uh, some news from the 44 billions, okay, to Greece. Market decide to break up the level that I've been alerting from some days now. Let me open the form so you can see here. It's curious to see them, the Forex order book today because there, there is some interesting things there happening. So we'll go there too. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to write here on the chat, bo on, on, on the chat board or on the questions and answers panel. Okay? I'm here to answer your questions. So don't be shy. Just right and I would more than, more than happy to answer all your questions. So, on the left, as you know, you, you, we have the 21 pips rank of our chart. Here on the right, we have the 34 pips rank of our chart. Okay, market, um, do a part that I alert here many times, okay? It is a, a very good part to trade. Okay, uh, this was the possible scenario. Uh, let me took out the ray from here just to okay, just to second, please. Okay, is better. See, this was the scenario I alert when the price went there. Okay, was important to see a down move, but. Don't pass the previous low because that will invalidate. And now what we have, we have a retracement, then a retest, and finally a break of this level. Okay? Now we have confirmed that these could be, right now, this could be a short to medium term bottom of the market. Okay? This to be more confirmed, but right now what we have is a, a clearly a break of, finally, a break of the 28, 128 level, okay? So my target, I enter here, on my personal trades, I enter here, the reverse because of the Forex order book, I'm going to show you later, my target for this at least go and test the 128 
50 level. Okay? This is my first target for this trade. Okay? But of course, if market decides to, this is not a, a clear break, was due to the news and some, okay, reverse of the sentiment, if market goes to this level again, I'm not confident with the longs anymore, okay? If market go to that level, okay, break the 127.80 area and go again to 127.50, 40, 50 area, I'm not, I don't like to be or holding long trades there, okay? So this right now will be my stop, okay? This level is 127.47, so 127.50 level, 127.45 will be my stops, okay, for this trade. Although I expect that market give at least 128.50 level, okay. And this stop agreement, this is a 34 pips, okay. Sorry. We have here some consolidation too, as you can see. Uh, let me do the annotation, is better, okay, annotate, is better so you can see, okay, could be yellow, okay, we have here the first down, uh, first, then, this was the retracement, that was validated by the 21 pips, here you have another important that I alert to you, this was a, uh, um, a reverse of the bar, okay, almost close, but okay, then go up again. So this was a reverse of the bar. That means that, okay, buyers are entering in the market, okay, slowly. Now we have the break, okay, and we can test first this will be our target. And our ta this, this bar is exactly the close of the bar of the 21 pips, okay, 128.52 level, okay. Or 128.50 level, if you if you want to to call that. So this will be my target. Okay, at least on the 34. It's curious that if market goes down from here, and if test test level, okay, it, this will probably be a, the worst scenario for the euro, because this will be a reversal pattern. Okay, and could may the euro drop heavily from this point. So, it's important situation now for the euro, because, or is this uh, um, a temporary bottom on the market, okay, or a um, um, short, medium term bottom, or if market reverse from here, can go and, okay, then after that can go and test the 124, 50, 124, 50, 124 level, okay? So, this is important now to see the decision of the market, okay? Let me do here the stop annotating here, okay? Uh, let's go now to the Forex order book to show you interesting thing there, okay? Let me open here, okay, it's already opened, okay, is in English, no problem, okay. Okay, so since yesterday, this was the opening of yesterday. Let me do this on net and zoom. What we see here, okay, that was the majority of the traders closed the, the Friday close was the majority were sellers. We saw this on Monday too, that the sellers around 126, 50, 127 was the huge sellers. So this means, and I alert this on Monday, this could be the first trying to reverse, okay, the short term trend, okay, or create some kind of a bottom, okay. They were around this level all week. They made 126.70 area. Um, okay, so they were around these levels. Okay, but didn't touch again the 126.50 level. Okay, they create some, and then you can see here they were accumulating the stops 
on the year on orders, the blue line, these are the stops, okay, from the sellers. Okay, so as you can see, as soon as the stops from the sellers uh, begin heavy, the market push up to clean the orders. This happened one time, then again, market went up, then went down again, and here you have here we have the accumulation again. Now on the sell side, then we had this. This is the important situation. Market was all morning around 127.50, 127.70 area. Okay? And that was due to this huge block of the orders you are seeing here. Okay? Now I can do the animation so I can explain this more clearly. Okay? Could be green. This is a huge block of orders here, of buy orders here. Okay? This is a huge block. Compared to the sellers, it means that on the 127.50, 127.78 area was more or less the same amount of traders that were till 127 level. Sorry. Till 127 level. Okay? So, the buyers were there Okay, the buyers were here trying to create some kind of balance of the price or expecting a break. Okay, these blocks, these blocks here can mean two things. Okay, and I was really expecting that prior to making the breakout up, they could clean these stop orders here, as you can see. This blue line, this blue at the open orders, these were the majority of the stop orders of this block of the buyers. Okay, so I was expecting, okay, a come down to 127.50 area here. Let me draw here. I was expecting a come to this level prior to make this break up. Okay, but market didn't do that. And I had my stop order, okay, uh, around 127.90 area, okay, expecting a break. I enter and, okay, and collect some part of the profits now at 128.50 level, 15 level, okay. But important here is, okay, this is the typical situation of a creation of a bottom, okay. When you see this, okay, Orders begin accumulate, orders begin accumulate. These orders were accumulating for about one week. We begin saw this accumulation of orders here, this accumulation of orders. We saw this on Monday, and the webinar is recorded, so you can see that I alert for this situation too, so you can compare the development of this accumulation, because this is really important, okay? Um, some investors uh, don't look at this or go with the majority of the traders. And once again, that's why the majority of the traders lose money. Because, okay, they were accumulating here, okay, market will go down or at least test once again the 126.50 uh, 50 level. But market was not to go there, okay? And the sell orders were accumulating, the sell orders were accumulating, accumulating. And what the, 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 the retracement or the sell that we saw on Friday, that was the last sell, okay? That was the last attempt, okay, or the, yes, we can say the last attempt to put even more sellers on the market. Okay, for the big players, institutional banks, even put more sellers on the market. And as you can see, the last one hour and a half, two hours of Friday was completely buy, 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 buy. Okay, they were cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Okay, and the majority of the traders didn't close the trade, expecting, okay, this is the, the, the late Friday uh, investors that want to stay short to the weekend, but 
that was completely the opposite. Okay, they were cleaning, they were making the first take of the positions prior to making this break. Okay, so we had two alerts for this break. We have had two alerts for this. Okay, the accumulation that was made during almost one week. Okay, and after that, the late Friday rally. <coughs> sorry, that put the price uh, around 127.40 area. Okay, then price open at that level. You can see here. Okay, and as soon as we 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 saw on Monday accumulation of the stops, they completely eat those stops. You, you see here one, then go down again, then two, then go up, down again, then four, then go down again, and five. Okay, so five times, sorry, they let more sellers or the stops accumulate, they clean the stops. So right now, they are testing and they continue to test here the, the break, okay? If this is really a break or uh, if not a break, if you can go here to right now, what we see is the continuation of the break for me, okay? We have here the Iceland, like I, I used to, to say, okay, this is the Iceland. And as you can see, the block of the buyers are out. Okay, so with this break, the, the 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 investors that were expecting a break previously and market don't happen because was accumulating here around this level 125, 127.50, 127.70 area, they give up of the trade. Okay, I'm going to explain. MRC, what is Iceland? Um, they give up of the trade. Okay. And now they will, they want to see a more rake for entering again. Okay, so this is, this is what gives or um, feed the market. Okay, they give up again. And you have here this Iceland here. Okay, let me, okay. I'm going to explain what is Iceland. If you see here, okay, this blue here. These are the sellers that, okay, with a spike, they decide to enter, continue to enter short in the market, okay? These are the stops from the remuneration, okay, of the, of the traders that are still long on the market, okay? That want to see more break, okay? You can see at these levels, even more sellers are appearing. These sellers don't believe in that this could be a real break. Okay? We don't know yet. But from my experience, what they say to me is, okay, market will test the 128.50 level. Okay? The conditions are met for price even go higher. Okay? Because we had more sellers appear on the break, more sellers appear, so... If they go to 128, 30, 128.50 area, okay, even more sellers will appear here for sure, okay, more sellers here at these levels here, okay. That can, okay, feed even more the market to continue the break, okay. And this is one of the reasons the majority of the traders lose money. Because they were on the break, okay, if you see this bar, they were expecting the break here, okay, you see here the block, they were expecting the break here, okay, but after that when the, they see a minimal small retracement, they get out of the trade. So, instead of let the profits run and cut the losses, the majority of the traders what do, is cut the gain and let the losses run, okay? Even some traders that were long here, they are probably short already, okay? 
saying, okay, this is not going to be the, the break or market test conditions to go down. And this is what they like to, okay, to even push the price even higher. Okay? But this is the probabilities. Okay, this is not for sure. Trying, uh, trading is, um, is a probability business. Okay? So, we have here the Iceland. I don't think that market if they are really want to to get this on the run up, okay, these shorts will stay here, okay. This will be um, another area for the shorts to accumulate here, the shorts, okay. So this is what happened with the water book, and now you can analyze this, okay, to see the the um, the possible formation of the um, uh, of um, a temporary bottom we don't know is this is, is a short term or short medium term okay we don't know that yet we we know that this was clearly um, a reversing of the trend that euro was doing okay from selling okay let me see the question Iceland is for sellers who do not believe in long yes yes even on the break, you see that market was accumulating here all morning, okay? But as I usually say, I don't look at any news, okay? I don't have any news, okay? I don't see any news or I only trade the price. And what I say, and some people don't, okay, a little skeptic about this, is that price uh, have um, all news incorporated. If not, that is the time when you see huge spikes on the price or huge moves on the price. Okay? But with that, you, you can go with the price at that level. But the big players were here accumulating the positions because the, 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 the probability that this IG uh, 44 billions that will another land for the, for the, the Greece the probability is okay for the the go the positive answer okay and with a positive answer we have the spike on the price or a big move okay that was not a sure but was more yes than no okay so even with that the the buyers that were on the market they don't believe okay they they need and want to, if they see a, a a more okay or a break a more solid break okay for me this is a very solid break okay let me show here the the platform so you can see here for me this is a, a um, if you don't say solid is a very important break okay because this was accumulation since uh, the okay. Uh, about two weeks now, since uh, seven, uh, okay, since five, okay, since the beginning of November, this is accumulation at this area, okay, market was trying to make here the bottom and could make the bottom here, okay, at least at first glance, they, they, they are making the break, okay, they are holding there the 128 level, okay? Even they can go to here and test again the 127, 80, 90 area, okay, to really test the break. This is not invalidated break, okay? So, uh, can even confirm more this break here, okay? As you can see, they were accumulating here, okay, trying to go down. This was the last Friday rally that I spoke earlier here. This was the sellers, okay? They try, but they do a reverse here at 126, 90 level, 85, 90 level, okay? So, to go up, okay? So, at these levels here, let me show you what we see, what we saw on the order book. Let me show you here, okay, 
this was the last down leg. Let me clean the other lines here so we can see. This was the last down leg. Okay. Then market go up. Okay, this was the first retracement or alert that okay this market could making trying to make some bottom here. We have here a perfect five moves. Okay. We have the first move with two block with two bars a block. Then we have a three, then we have a two. Okay. This is uh if you can see on the 21 pips chart, this is a, a very common pattern, okay? Two up, one down, three up, one down, and two up, okay? After that, they retest here this level, okay? Couldn't break this level, then go down. This is the Friday down move, okay? Two hours to okay, we can go to two and a half hours late Friday. Okay, we saw that market begin to go up and close at this level. This was the close of the Friday. Okay. What they do today was they were around this level almost since the opening, the yesterday opening, this level here. They were around this level. Okay. When we we saw the news market go to that level, and after that, made the break. Okay, made this break. Okay, but this is a this is a a, a, a very common pattern. Okay, uh, up a new low, a retest, didn't break the new low, and then go and break. Okay, let me show you here some patterns of this, so you can. Okay, let me go. Okay, we have here another one. We have here another one, another pattern. Okay, market go down here, then go retest, then go down, retest, made the new low, then go and test, didn't make the new low, then break, and as you can see, after that, we'll test. Okay make here a, a, a break of the previous hike, okay? This is another one, okay? Here we have another pattern, okay? For up and for down, here. We have here, let me do the annotation, my understanding. We have here down, test, a new low, Test, not make a new low, break, okay, it's two bars. After that, we have a test, test, break, go down, okay? Then after that, they went up again. So this is another pattern, okay? Here, you have an extension, okay? This I didn't call, okay, but you go down, up. This didn't make the new low, but this is what you can see the levels of the breaks in the ring that are easy to understand, okay? Very easy to understand how we can trade the breaks on the air or expecting some kind of uh, market pull at that level, okay? Let me show. Okay, this, this was not... Uh, um, this is a failure and then a, a retest of the hikes. Let me show you. Okay. Here you have a failure and after that, as you can see, market, okay, go down hard. Okay. You have here the first one, then break. Okay, didn't went to the, to the high level, then come down again. Retest the previous, okay, break, but didn't break this level. After that, when the market decide to break, you have here another, another one, okay, then go up again, okay, then another one, 
a break, then break this level here and go down. Okay? As you can see, it's very easy to understand how the market can move looking at the Marenko bar chart. It's much more easier than with the normal, okay, time frames. Okay? Okay, you can tell me, okay, this is after the happening, but with this, uh, you can, if you attend to the webinars, you see that I alert for prior this happening, I alert for these developments of the um, possible of these patterns, okay? I alert for this pattern, okay, last Monday, and the market was here, around here, this level. Okay, you could make then a long and retest expecting a break. Here a short, it was a losing one. Okay, but now we are here trying to collect the profit again. Okay, so with the Renkos, uh, um, you can, how can I say, you can uh, remove the noise of the market. You can see clearly. Uh, or more clearly, the supports and resistance of the levels. Here you have uh, another one, okay? Market break, go up, go up, then didn't hold, then you have here and a break. Then this was a, okay, a fake one was losing one bar here, then continued to go down. But after that, these patterns, let me, these patterns you will see the majority of the times on the bottoms or on the tops, okay? This is how you can see a developing of a short term or medium term bottom or short term or medium term top of the market, okay? And is in these areas that the majority of the traders lose all the money that they can do on the downtrend here, okay? Because they continue expecting a drop, then they reverse to up. I know now market is going to drop. I know market is going to up. And on these levels here, okay, the majority of the traders lose possible the money they have been collected or the pips they collect on the downtrend. So at these areas here, you need to be very cautious, okay, about the market. Because this year you will probably lose uh, the majority of the money you earn from these down moves, okay, that market we're doing, okay. If you can avoid losing trades here, Okay, when market begin to trade again or go down again, we don't know, okay, we don't know yet, you will continue to collect your profits, okay? These levels here, and now we need to go to the 34 pips, okay? These were the no man's land, okay? Alert for these two, let me do the shapes here, okay, these were the no man's land, okay, let me do here, you can go down here, okay, these were the no man's, I alert for these, okay, let's see if we can get a, a break or the 127 and then continue to the 126, okay, this was the middle range here, Okay, finally, market seems to trying to break up. We don't know if this will be, okay, a consolidation and uh, a continue to the up move here. We don't know that yet, okay? And I, uh, nobody knows if market will continue here to go up or if we'll go to reverse and can make here one, two, and then break and, okay. If break, 
we'll most probably see the market go to this level here. Okay, go and create here at this level some kind of range below the 126, 12450, 126 level. That could be if market um, can r really make this a break. Okay, this is a, a fake break. Then if market go down, we'll see a, um, a heavy drop on the market for sure. That is for sure. Okay, so for now and for the week, we need to be alert for three important levels of the market. Okay, the first one will be if market is able to go to 128.50 level and break. Okay, if market can go to 120. 128.50 level and break, we can see a retest here of the 129 area, okay, if can break, we can see market at 129.20, 129.40 area, okay, these are the levels for the earth moves. On the other side, if market, if this is not, uh, okay, uh, um, a real break of the market, and if market decide to go down, okay, and if decide to break the 127 level, we'll for sure, we'll see the market test first the 126, and after that can most probably go here to 125.50 level, okay, test that, test that level. So this will be the levels for this week. Okay, if market will remain at this level, okay, we don't do nothing, we expect, okay, for market will do. If decide to go in ranging here for 127, 128, 127, 128, okay, we expect that market decide what will do, okay. If the break is to do, or if not, if a reverse, okay. So this will be the levels now for the euro can break this level, most probably go to here, and most probably go to here. If go down and break this level, most probably will test the 126 level, and this could be a very fast move, okay, after that 125.50 area, and after that the 124 area, okay, down here. So this will be the levels we need to, to Okay, to stay in our mind, okay, to see what market will probably do. At this level, be really alert. This is about 81,000 pips, okay? Some investors, okay, um, like, okay, but that is 1,000 pips, 1,000 pips you can collect um, good money. Yes, for sure. But as you can see here, this is about 120 pips here is level. This rectangle here is one, one, this 120 pips here, 120. And as you can see here, if you are long, okay, market will low, no, now it's going to short, okay, now it's going to long, now it's going to short, okay. In this accumulation, you can lose a lot of money. And we don't want that. We don't want to give to the market what we are to collect on the down move. Okay? We don't want to give that to the market. We want to retain our gains. We can lose, okay? We can lose here some money. But not all. And if market is going to is breaking here, why we are going to try to sell here the market. This doesn't make any sense to me. If we are clearly seeing that market is trying to make here some kind of bottom and is breaking, why we are trying to find the top? Okay? 
okay you you can short at this level and if market go down okay i find the top okay but the, the probability right now is not that the probability sorry is for market continue to go up okay i don't know if it will be 20 pips 40 pips uh 100 pips 200 pips i don't know that nobody knows that that's why i I'm saying that okay, there's no targets on the market. We don't mm, we don't need to put target stops. Really, real we really need to put that. But targets we don't we don't need to put that. We can for sure close partial of our profits here or here, okay, and let market run again, okay. If market going up, that is okay. But targets why? You can see a lot of movement and big movements on the market, so there's no need, or in my opinion, there's no no there's no no interest to put targets on the market. At least for my type of trading, okay. If you are a scalper, for sure you want to put targets, okay, because you want to 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 get the the, the minimum pips. Although I don't like scalp at all, okay? It's my opinion. Maybe someone likes scalp. I don't like, okay? It's not my, really not my type of trading, okay? So, these are the levels um, to be alert for the week now, okay? Let's see if market can go to 128.50 level. If can break that level, okay, we can see then 129. Okay, is this level here? This is in agreement here. One twenty-eight eighty level is the first relief. Can break. Okay, we can see price here. One twenty-nine twenty level. Okay, but after this break, and if market can break the one twenty-eight fifty, be alert for one twenty-eight one twenty-nine level. One twenty-eight eighty one twenty-nine level. Okay, if market then decide to go down. Uh, this will be, let's put here scenario, market break here, go to, okay, let's say 128.50 level or even 128.80 and then decide to go down, okay, and after that decide to go down. This 127.90, will be our level to see, okay, if market after that can go down again. So if this is our breaking up, it will be our breaking down too. Okay? So if market go to 128.50, 128.80, be after that alert to the 128 if market decide to retrace. Okay? So these are the levels. Um, I will speak at the new in the money webinar at um, on Thursday. Okay, let me just open here, just to okay, just to let you know if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at tradingast at intuitiontrading.com. Uh, please visit our website at intuitiontrading.com or at our micro website at fxtreat.com. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed the session um, and be alert for the levels I, I alert here during the webinar. Uh, so thank you very much for attending. Have a rest of nice day and hope to see you all on Thursday. Have a rest of a great week. Okay, so thank you. Bye.